I'm Elaine with Wisconsin for Safe Technology. I'm here this morning on Grange Avenue in Greendale. And across the street from me is a small cell tower in Greenfield, Wisconsin. Um, it's located in front of two homes. And you can see across the street there, um, the equipment that goes with it is not the size of a small pizza box. There is a bulky um, equipment box there. Um, and some other equipment. I brought today my $400 acoustometer, which measures RF radio frequency microwave radiation. And I just wanted to measure the emissions from that small cell tower. We have one other device here with us today, which is set to airplane mode. Um, so I will turn this on. And right away, you can see that it's in the red zone measuring very high emissions of radio frequency radiation. And there are two homes across the street there. So the people in those homes may be feeling health effects such as migraines, fatigue, um, behavioral problems, sleep problems. And over time, with these types of emissions, you can experience um, other effects such as cancers, brain cancers, or breast cancers. I turned off the acoustometer. Um, thousands of independent studies show biological harm from those types of radio frequency radiation emissions. Um, on the right over here is a Verizon marker for 5G. They have been putting Verizon markers such as this throughout our village, um, marking fiber optics, probably for future 5G cell tower sites, which they put up on utility poles. They co-locate their antenna on utility poles and light posts, and they will be spaced 2 to 12 houses apart to bring us things such as driverless cars, virtual reality, and smart appliances. Um, so if you want to learn more, please visit our website, wisconsinsafetech.com. Again, wisconsinsafetech.com, where you can read the science, learn more about 5G, and get some practical safety tips for you and your loved ones. Thank you. You can turn off your cell phones, but you can't turn off a cell tower. Thank you for your support.